that you are watching the number one podcast in the whole entire touristing community. And I'm one of your hosts, Juanzo. And I'm your other host, Jean Paul Leck. And together we are. Rope Rage. Rope Rage. Every, you, every single one of you, family. Uh, we're just have a great show for you guys. NXT was actually not bad. We had a few championship matches and we got the return of Finn Balor. So we're really excited. And Jean Paul, we have the final announcement. We were teasing it for like a few weeks War Games, December 6th. 2020, that's going to close the year for NXT. How do you feel about this show? Yeah, War, War Games, you know, that official announcement, Ozzy Osbourne, you know, the official theme, what is it, uh, War Pigs? War, War, War Pigs, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Out, yes. Yeah, so legit, I you know, War I, Games. No, I, yeah, War yeah, Games. Oh, yeah, close enough. Oh, but, uh, I, you know, I love that, and, you know, the show started off, for me, kind of shit, I didn't think, but, like, the ending, though, at least, you know, the, the last two segments, even though the one was extremely rushed, where, you know, it closed the show off good, so it's always good to end, it's like, to end the show good versus end it bad, so, you know, it was a decent episode of NXT this week. Oh yeah, it was pretty good, you know, before you guys watch that, you know, don't forget, Jean Paul Egg, he covers all of this, you know, Drew McIntyre, new WWE champion, one of the best rows of 2020, great entrance, great match, and, you know, the right decision was made, Big Dog against, or Tribal Chief against McIntyre Survivor Series. Robert will be covering every single one of those things. But just check the Mind in a Raw review. Go show for Survivor Series. You know, don't forget to check that out, Jean Paul. And NXT started, Jean Paul, with a championship match. And that was like Leon Ruff. Like you said, Leon the Joke Ruff against uh, uh, Johnny Gargano. So this was, to me, you know, lame. I don't like this. You know, there was like five minutes that I don't really care for. Just because, you know, like this match was even like, it was decent. But, like, I don't know. It's just, like, the whole joke about it. I, I just can't behind it. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't really know where they're going with the storyline because you thought, okay, they're going to correct it here and Gargano's going to win it back or, you know, but then we saw Priest come out. You know, and, and the match, you know, it was all right. Leon Ruff definitely has some talent, but just when he looks small compared to Johnny Gargano, you know there's a problem. Yeah. Johnny Gargano should be the guy who is, like, looks small to everyone else. But, yeah. you know, and then uh, Priest came out. And just pretty much called the distraction. Gargano's like, hey, what's going on? And then Leon Ruff goes to the outside to confront Priest. And then Priest is like, sorry, kid. Knocks him out. So then, you know, he wins by DQ. So he was Gargano about to do the last call, the last yeah, game. You know, like yeah. DDT, but like you said, Priest interfere. Like, I, I just, you know. And you said oh, yeah, he actually hit that. and Because, yeah, he pulled him out. He actually saved the pin. Because Gargano was clearly going to win. Like you said, he hit the final beat. He pulls him out. And then that's when he clocks him. So, right, yeah, you yeah. know, we still got this whole North American championship, like, you know, debacle. Like, just bullshit up in the air. I don't know what they're playing with this. It seems like a triple threat. And we did see some promos later on in the night, which helped this story along. So, we'll see where it goes. I just, you know... I, I don't know if this is really the right decision. It seems to me, Jean Paul, though, like they're like, going to do a triple threat, and I don't really like that because just like Leon Ruff is not the worth caliber of like the other two just now. No, you know, no. The future, maybe, like you said, maybe a few years, maybe let him like get like you know buffle up a little bit, like maybe like you said, thirty pounds, forty pounds. You start like eating like at McDonald's, Arby's, and then mm -hmm. Burger King. You know, give me something like like a diet like that. But like as of right now, I cannot get behind that. No, like, as, said, especially when you have guys like Bronson Reed who, w like, where is he? Well, he might be also in McDonald's and, you know, all of them, but yeah. like, just eating, you know, he's not even fighting. So, you know, you're right, Jean-Paul. Like, what about the other guys that, like, been doing the work? And I mean, this storyline, like you said, we got to see the where, where it ends because where it is right now, completely bad. You know, yes. like completely AW worth like change the channel, you know, and watch that instead of this. So, Jean Paul, let's go over to Cameron Grimes and Dexter Loomis and a blindfold match. This was also bad, Jean Paul. I don't know what you thought about it, but I was not happy with this situation. I'm, I gotta be honest with you, I could not pay attention to this, I was not into this at all. When, they, right, when Cameron Grimes was like, Oh, yeah, you know, I beat Dexter Loomis, blah blah blah, I was like, Okay, he's gonna move on to something different. And then they're like a blindfold match. And I'm like, what even is this? And then the ref got knocked out and they took the blindfolds off. So I'm like, okay, you're not even doing the gimmick of the match. And I'm like, this is just pointless. I don't, one of these two guys should be the one feuding with Gargano or feuding with, you know, Bronson Reed or something. Or yes. this feud, or this feud should be for the title. You yeah. Know? This, or this feud should be for the number one contendership for 
you know, the, the North, North American, American title. Championship. Yeah, so, like it. Yeah, it's just I, that I, I'm going to be honest. I couldn't get into this. I like both these guys, but this match and this gimmick and just this whole feud in general, I was just, I can't get this into it. This was not good, you know, like, and like you said, once the blindfolds were off, like, kind of like, completely Cameron Grimes were like, Cameron Grimes were like, oh, like, like, you know, chicken out. He, he became mm-hmm. like a little bit of a pussy, and we get to see this because he ran away, and Dexter Loomis is still chasing. You know, Cameron Grams, uh, the feud continues. It seems to be that, like, uh, I don't know why, but, like, there's more, there's yeah. going to be more to it. And, like, you know, it's not good at all. But, like, Le- Egg, what was really good is, like you said, the promo by Shotzi Blacher. She was all, like, happy, like, ready to go, intense, because she's rebuilding the tank. You can see that, like, she's trying to build the tank one more time. And then she announced War Games is going to be December 6th, right there. And John Paul, like, was, like, pretty mm-hmm. much loving it because War Pigs by Black Sabbath was on. The origin, that's going to be the theme song for that. This is going to be good. And as you can see in the logo, the tank is going to be the theme of the whole thing. I mean, yeah. it's good. I don't know if, like, I will base my War Games story based on, like, somebody destroying the tank. But at least, well, you know, it's going to be yeah. probably two I War think- Games matches, girls and guys. Yeah, I definitely think that it's going to be, like you said, it's going to be the men and the women. And that just, hey, it's war games, a tank. It You know, it goes with the theme of war. So I think they're kind of just playing it off that. And like you said, it's going to be Team Shotzi versus Team Larray. So we already know the team captains for the women. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out the two teams for the men. So yeah, it looks exactly. like we got our yeah, you know, we war games set up. Remember? We teased yes. it. So we're correct. So thank you, Jean-Paul, for like your booking skills. Talking about, you know, like uh, the girls. Because, see, this show had actually three girls matches. Very, like... Like, unlike like to happen one more time but like it was like we got the poison pixie uh okay candice larray with also in the hardwell and they were in a tag team match against casey karen sarah and katie carter katie karen has a lot of future simple she has a bright future she moves really well in the ring i like the combination just that she did with the flatliner you know i don't know if karen sarah is like as agile as ricochet but i don't know about her but i know that like there's future in casey and katie carter at least for me, Jump. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. I like Kate and Carter a lot. I feel Kat and Zara was just there because she's talented and athletic, but I don't think she has the passion. I don't think she wants to be a pro wrestler. You know what I mean? Like, some people, they're in the business and they uh, want to get my better. My boyfriend dragged me to Yeah, that, that's what I feel. So, I'm an American Ninja Warrior, and my yeah. boyfriend is a wrestler, so I guess I'll do that so I can see him every day or yeah. whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't feel she has the passion, but I really like Kane Carter as well. But this is another match where it was, it was decent. You know, I like Loray. I like Indy Hartwell. Like I said, Caden Carter. But you knew who was going to win. You're not going to go into war games as a team captain and lose. So Exactly. No. And also, like, the main the main theme is just to promote this, like, partnership. Mm-hmm. Partnership and also, like, to kind of, like, kind of give us, like, an idea of what, like, the teams are going to be. Like, Team Loray and against Team Shotzi. So, it was good. And, like, I, I think it's good for Hartwell to go be oh, with Shotzi, you know. I mean, I'm not with Shotzi, with Candice Loray. Just because, you know, she's going to get a lot of momentum. She's going to learn. She's going to get oh, yeah, this better is, in the ring. Yeah, this, her with Candice is, like, moving her up the ranks in the women's division really fast. Because, you yeah, know, when like, you're with someone who's a main eventer. Exactly. You no, know, So they feel that, like, there's a lot of future in her. So they're mm-hmm. putting a lot of stocks in her. You know, somebody's jump on, they're not putting any stocks in. Unless that they only give us a promo and said next. It's like, destruction total. Like you said in Portuguese, you know, total destruction is our Antonio Ruas. And, you know, legit, I'm like, okay, he's going to win. No, he's not going to win because they put him against Kushida, jean So, like, this guy had, mm-hmm. like, a good showing. Like you said, we've seen him in Raw Underground. We've seen him in early episodes of NXT when NXT was still in the WWE Network. But, like, as you can see, the guy, you know, he doesn't even brush his teeth. He has yellow teeth, I think, or, like, he's wearing, like, the protector or something. But in the end, jean Mr. Kushida got the win. Pretty yeah. good. Pretty, you know, like, Kushida is, like, the main event now. I want to see Kushida feuding for the North American Championship, to be honest with you. At least, if it's not going to be for the uh, NXT Championship, Jean Paul, because he's doing great. He deserves to be promoted like that. You know, I want to see Kushida in the main event, please. Oh, I agree with that 100%. Kushida versus yeah. Balor would be legit, but they're really, you know, it's war games, so they got to do the 4v4. And I don't really know if Balor is ready yet. So, they're, they're, you know, the whole Undisputed Era yeah. feud and the Kings of NXT and all that. So, hopefully, Kushida will be the, you know, the next chapter after that's all over. But I agree. If he's not going to go for that, put him in the North American Championship race. Yeah. Th- this match was good, but, like, I don't know if I would... I would have had Koshida off this week, whatever. He could even cut a promo saying, I, like, you know, he wants gold or whatever. And then you could have had Ruhas go against the guy who uh, Timothy Thatcher went against. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. we, didn't need that, we didn't need that Timothy Thatcher match at all. I, I, okay, legit, it set up, you know, a future feud, which is going to be good, but 
the match was way too long. We didn't need it. And Ruha, who's debuting, you know, you had the, you know, the th oh, Ruha next. Like, oh, okay, they're actually going to use this guy legit. And then he loses. So that's kind oh, of that's you know, you know? Like, like a good Portuguese, but like nothing, that total loss because he just lost. Done. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, done. I mean, now if someone's like, oh, well, would you want to see him beat Koshida? Well, no. Like I said, he should have never even been booked against Koshida. So. Thank you. The match should have never been booked like that. Like you said, like if you're going to promote this guy, put him with like a job or put like a real mm -hmm. Leon Ruff. And make yeah. him win the uh, American Championship. You know, that yeah. would have been great. You know, ratings. Well they, well, they, well, they just give it to anybody, so they might as well have done exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. You and me are going to debut soon, and we're going to yeah. get those titles. And oh, we're going to go and attack for a match with, like, these girls, four girls. We got Tony Storm, Amber Moon, Dakota Kai, and Raquel Gonzalez. This was good. I like this. You know, before the match, they had a promo. They uh, Tony and Amber is like, hey, you know, the... Women's Championship is like, well, we'll talk about that, you know, right after this. But right now, we're friends. Deal? Deal. And, you know, when you see Amber Moon like that, of course, you're going to make a deal with her. This was, like I said, a good match. Tony is still a babyface, jump Paul. It bothers me because, like you said, she should have turned on Amber Moon. Yeah, and I hope, I really hope, you know, she stays a babyface because it looks like she's going to be on the War Games team, I would say. And if she is, then I hope she, you know, remains a babyface and they don't pull a Dakota Kai where she turns heel. At oh, work yeah, because that, that would we'll be see. bullshit. That oh, would be, I would be like, really? Like, two years you're in right. a row, we got to do this shit. So, um, I just you're right because, like, we will, like, um, pretty much the teams are kind of right there, you know. It's yeah. gonna be Ember Moon and Tony Storm, it's gonna be uh, Shotzi. Then we need a few members there, but in the in the let's say the heel side is like mm -hmm. already Harwell, Larray, and Raquel and Dakota. So, you got yeah. kind of bored. So, we'll see what is the older member. Yeah, but I, I like this match, too. You know, Tony Storm looks yeah. really good. Ember Moon was kind of in there, like, doing a lot of the selling and everything. And, obviously, Raquel looks good. She's one of those who, like they said, she, it's almost like Diesel, but, like, if Diesel could actually wrestle and was legit. Because it's like, oh, you're the big enforcer, you know, you're the insurance policy, but you should really be in the main event. Like you like you know Raquel. really good about her because she's listening right there. It's like yeah, yeah she's like, oh, she's like okay. okay yeah all right all right yeah, yeah I, I think she's as tall as me so I don't want to mess with her but yeah exactly yeah, this is like but I I mean I like this all four of these women are great and like I said this is definitely going to be a little preview of the war games match I think because I could easily see all these women and I'm sure that's who they're going to choose to be exactly. on the baby face and heel team. And like but, you said, and it was a pretty much a small package on to the Koraka, and Tony Storrs got the win. And so, like, mm -hmm. Amber Moon and Tony are celebrating, but then right after, they are attacked by, you know, like, let's say, Dakota, uh, uh, Shad, no, uh, Candace and yep. Lee Harwell, they're attacked. So, like, you see kind of, like, they, the, the heel team is already formed. And then yes. they pretty much sell them for, like, it was like Raquel Gonzalez was able to do the power bombs or the choke slam that she does on both onto like Amber Moon and Tony Storm. So it was good. So it pretty much tells you what the story is going to be. You know, yes. right? you know, it tells you what the story is going to be. And we get to see these girls right there. Uh, the, see, like two. We are the other two. We're four. I mean, I like this. And like you said, it's going to be a women's war games match. And I think it's going to be a guy's. So it's going to be really good. So later on, Jump we're going to hear from Finn Balor. You know, where, like the champion is back. This is like you said, the timing of the show was a little off. So that's, that's something that they should improve it because, like, they ended what with like five, six minutes. You know, after I mean, there was overrun, but I don't know if it's needed. You know, especially oh, when you come, oh, like, no, uh, no, it was a bad example against yeah. August Gray. You no, know, that was that was uh, the match right there. Example. What the hell is this? I don't yeah. want to do this. Is yeah, this and, and evil if... from twenty sixteen. Yeah, and if you are going to do this, like I said, this should have been who Ruha went against, and he should have just ripped this guy in half, you know, made him look good. But if you're going to do it the way you did it with Thatcher, it should have been three seconds and done because we didn't care about the match. We only cared about the aftermath. Like, you know, this guy, what was his name again? I don't even remember. August Gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah Gray. He was, you know, he got some offense in, and he looked decent, but what's the point? Yeah, like he just you know he gets that like cravat in or whatever that choke and he just chokes him out really lifts it up and then you know he's done he taps and, out uh, instantane example, instantaneously the only time that Timothy Thatcher is gonna probably smile you know because come on like uh, he yeah with those with those, with those with those teeth just don't smile yeah like, yeah 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 you can but go then he's like oh yeah. hey you're gonna you're gonna be in a meaningful in a meaningful feud Ooh, yeah, right. exactly yeah right, because yeah. he locks in the choke again and then who comes out Tommaso Ciampa and you know they have a stare I down, and down it, a good stare down right here yeah and but it was bullshit because I mean I get it he's like a heel and whatnot but he's just like I have no problem with you man and rolls out of the ring I'm like really look you're like four inches taller than the guy you just you know choked out another guy like you say how you're legit 
yeah, I know Champ is a badass, but like, can you sell it a little bit that you're not like scared of him? Yeah, and then there you go. See, like he just and then like, he rolls out. He's there. like, Too. And, and, I mean, and, and, le- uh, it'll be a legit feud, but it's just like, r- like that's really how he's gonna start it. Yeah, I mean, I, like, he's a little better. Like the stare down at least good, but when he left the ring, like you said, like that, that was really crappy. That was really crappy. And yeah. I mean, this is the feud, but like again, who's gonna win over this too? Of course, oh, you're gonna Champa. Be the Champa. So yeah. what's the point? One more time, what's the point? Right, Jumpo? So, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. and I could even see something that that gray causes him to lose that match. So, like, he still, you know, looks okay because he didn't lose clean. But it's, you know, it's like, what's the point? Oh yeah, you know, absolutely. So you know, Jean Paul. After that, we get to see like Damian Priest was supposed to be in the match, but then he's actually attacked by Johnny Gargano because like he's still pissed with what happened in the first segment. So like they mm-hmm. go at it for a little bit. You know, there's a lot of interactions between the two of them. Gargano gets most of the offense. He's dominating, but Priest starts to counter. But all of a sudden, Jean Paul Leon Ruff shows up again. Yeah, and this was because earlier, you know, backstage, uh, Priest was talking to William Regal, and he's like, yeah, blah, 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 and they're like, oh, yeah, Leon Ruff, you know, that's a joke, ha, 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 and he just pops out of nowhere, well, they probably didn't see him, you know, all the way down there, so then when he, you know, he's like, hey, I'm here, I'm down here, look, and then they look down, and they saw him, and he's like, oh, I'm just a joke, he's like, what, if I can't defend the title, then I don't deserve to be champ. And I, I like that line. And then, you know, he, Priest is like, no, that's not how it is. And he slaps the shit out of Priest, which was good. It's like, you know, this the guy still needs to go on the Burger King diet and gain mm-hmm. about 30 pounds. But the intensity there and just like, you know, that the, the verbiage, like, hey, if I can't defend it, I don't deserve to be champ. Like, you know, that's legit. You know, I respect that. So, I, you know, I, I he came, like you said. Yeah. I like that, so, yeah. but he came out and like you said, he you know, kind of got most of the offense in, but it's one of those things where in a triple threat match like this, it's like you let the two big guys go at it. And then the little guy strikes when it's convenient. And, and that's how it, like this was. And if they do a triple threat match for the title, don't be surprised if Leon Ruff retains and he sneaks a win out by doing that same tactic. I, I just hope that that doesn't, that's not the case. I just, you know, I, I, to me, you know, this is nothing. I mean, I, I think that it will happen, but let's hope that it's not a triple threat. I just, you know, make right is wrong. There you go. That's what I yeah. can say. Right this wrong. Make him look legit again because this title has lots of love and importance for me. You know, we go from like Ricochet, Adam Cole, Johnny Gargano, Priest, you know, Keith Lee to like Leo Roth. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's just when you don't want to like, like, worry about this title anymore John, but what do you think about this next week kevin owens on commentary for nxt like it seems to me that like they're gonna try to like get kevin owens again on nxt in a subtle way Maybe yeah they, i mean this is for smackdown you know like there's been I a lot of rumors on that i just want to know what the whole point is uh, or like what the reason is behind beth phoenix not being there in person I know, like, you know, when they show all the documentary and stuff with Edge, like, they have two little girls and everything, and, like, Edge is probably still recovering, but um, you're telling me that, like, somebody can't watch them? Because she, she does the commentary, like, via set, like, you know, probably, like, StreamYard, like, rope break, you know, like, legit, but, you know, it's like, why can't you just have Vic there by himself and Beth just be a voice? Like, yeah. Why do we? Why do we need Kevin Owens? And, and if, you know, like uh, ever since, asking, like, ever, yeah, so ever since me, Ronaldo left, Jumpo, it doesn't feel bad. Doesn't yeah. feel as, as as important anymore. No. So if you're asking me just for a word, it's to me pointless. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. I would only bring him down if he's going to be involved in a storyline, which clearly he isn't. He's on the Survivor Series team, so you know. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just maybe because it's the day before Thanksgiving, so a lot of people are going to be off and all of that. So maybe it's so uh, we don't have anybody. Kevin. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> fill in. Fill in. And talking about filling in, John Paul, Boa has not left the NXT, the Performance Center, you know, since last week. So he looks really crappy. So William Regal is looking for him. And, you know, he said, I have not left the arena. And, you know, I'm just being watched. Well, no, no. He was actually at his at his home. He never came to to the arena. He's like, oh, you haven't, you know, been to the PC since last week. Where are you? And he's like, oh, like, oh, like, so. Like, okay, I'm, I'm, then, I yeah. understand. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, I mean, hey, I don't, I don't blame you, though, though, as exciting as this storyline is, I wouldn't pay attention to it either, but, you know, we have to do it for the family, but That's he was right. like, oh, you know, oh, and he's like, well, I haven't seen Zia Lee in two weeks, and he's like, oh, like, yeah, she's done, too, and he's like, she's coming, and he's like, who, Zaya? No, she's coming, so... Maybe there's going to be another debut. I don't there's know. Something that is this, happening right there, right? I, I yeah, can't... this this women's division is already so stacked. I don't know who they could be bringing in. I don't know. Like, you know, I, I really don't know. So I guess we got to wait and see. But so far, this this is on life support for me, this, this storyline. So we yeah, gotta you know, or like you said, because he got his ass kicked and all of that is just like, really? I do, I, you know, like, <laughs> what is what he can do? We don't know the identity of the other guy that gave him a card last week. Mm-hmm. So, like, they, a lot of answers uh, having not 
have not been delivered yet, so we have more questions. So yes. you know, we'll see what happens on that storyline. But you know, Jean Paul, let's go to the meat and potatoes of this. You know, of this whole show because this is when it gets good. At least we have are, to. Stop are, are, we, are we finally getting there? Yeah, we finally getting the there. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, uh, there yeah. There you go. See, like Io Shirai defending the NXT Women's Championship against. Rhea Raquel Ripley. No, no, it's not Raquel, but like Rhea Ripley. This example was a pretty good match. Like you said, there was even a little bit of color. Or maybe, I don't know if it was color or just Rhea Ripley's like the black lipstick. I'm not really no, sure. No, no, yeah. Uh, when, uh, when she did the one uh, drop kick, she, because uh, Rhea has the big gauges in her ears, she kicked the ear, and those can tear easily. Not, oh, tear, okay. com- not tear completely, but it can just rip a little bit. And then, because uh, somebody, you know, somebody's uncle who we know, they used to, their ears used the to uncle, bleed from yeah, the yeah, gauges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, An- uncle will know this thing. Yeah, yeah so. so you uh, an uncle, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So, so that was cool when she did that, because I like when Rhea touched the blood and was like, oh, and then she put it like war paint under her eye That's like it, the blood yeah. so i mean but yeah. this was this was really good at, at first you know i was nervous because i asked all the wrestlers and all the wrestlers were like oh eo's gonna win and then they asked all the you know the dx who books the show they're like oh Rhea, and i'm like oh yeah. here we go let's go to the tail of the table and let's keep talking yeah. about like the but, road dog oh Rhea, no oh, triple h Rhea, Shawn michaels Rhea, and then all yeah. the nxt wrestlers yep and then it cut to eight when billy gunn was like oh Rhea, and i'm like really no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. yeah, and, and, and then you know, out of like from like you know, from like the sheets or something, you get X Pac and it's rare. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like really. But, uh, I mean, no, I mean this, cool. the, 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 the match. I love this, you know. Yeah, the, I love this. Different too. Jump ball, you know, uh, different like even like move sets, different styles, legit. Yeah, this, yeah, it's good. I like when this makes it feel like a real sports feel when they actually do that, and you know, it's like do that for the rest of the matches. But let's see, that's the problem is the other matches and championship feuds are jokes with Leon Ruff and everything else but this this was really good though this is when the show picked up unfortunately it was in the last like 25 minutes of the show yeah, but yeah, i mean the, the match was good. the match was really good hard hitting it was it, it should have been on a pay-per-view to be honest we had two picture and picture breaks which that kind of takes you out of it a little bit that killed know, it for me yeah. Yeah, during the first one it's like oh they didn't know if eel was even going to be able to continue the match and it was like oh my god is she done but then she started mounting that offense. And I can tell you, I hated that part because Rhea Ripley was just like, even like, you know, she climbed in the turnbuckle, you know, and I'm like, really? <laughs> What's going on? And they know, like, don't show me the McDonald's or the Burger King, you know, commercial. I want to see what's going on because Rhea is just like, yeah, chilling. I'm like, yeah. does she know that we're on a break? And that's why she's not fighting. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, that would put in once, you know, the match really started going, then, you know, it was good. I like, you know, the arm bars out of nowhere from, like I said, I don't on know why. Face, that was yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was legit. And, you know, she went for the rip tie, I think. I think it was just twice. twice. I, I don't, yeah. Counted. And then she countered it. I love when she countered the DDT. second time into the DDT. DDT. So legit. Oh, yeah. And then and even then the, the power bomb. Yeah, I, I love that power bomb through the table. That looked a little nasty because her head actually didn't hit any of the table. It just, I, it might have hit the mat. Or hopefully, she tucked the chin and she didn't hit her head at all. But you know, legit spot there. But of course, you know, Rhea makes it back in at the nine count, so the match continues. But then Moon Salt, one, two, three, you know, legit. Couple, not even on the body, or on the legs. You know, <laughs> you know. Can can we please tell yeah. you not to like fix the freaking aim? I thought she was the ge- I thought she was the genius of the sky. To me, she seems like she needs the fucking book, uh, like genius of the sky for dummies. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, like, you know, you, but like, it's all she always misses. What the heck, you know? I mean, and you're telling me that like that's you know, that completely destroys you, but like destroys the leg. You can still move, at least for me. But it, other than that, you know, you retains it. That's the that's the story. That's the mm-hmm. headline because the fact that Rhea Ripley didn't win. That was like the thing. Io Shirai pretty much have beat every single woman in that roster. So for me, you know, they finally given something legit to Io. A lot of legitimacy to this woman. She's been carrying the con- the company after Charlotte and the pandemic and all of that. So I'm really happy about that, Jean Paul. And we get oh, this oh, definitely. right there because like you saw, like how like Rhea was about to like they wanted to like do like raise their hands together, but I guess Io maybe didn't understand because she was trying to fix the title and anything. And Rhea kind of got mad and is like and, like slaps the ass and like, all right, dude, here's your moment. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> right well, now. yeah, I mean, and and also you got to think about like okay, they embraced, they hugged after the match, you know, on the ramp, like I. Uh, like it's legit we're both baby faces but at the end of the day you're not the champ don't hold my belt who are you hulk hogan <laughs> like, yeah. get out of here. don't hold my shit like 
you know, so I agree with you. It's like, yeah, get out of here. But yeah, just no. get out. Just but get then, out. but like we said, time management. As Eo was on the ramp, her music's playing. Finn Balor's walking in the ring, and it's like, what the hell? to come through. Like Balor, Balor can't even get his music. He has to come through the side door like a freaking, you know, like he's breaking in. Come on, Michael, let's go. Yeah, it's like, come on. Like Vamanos, Vamanos, let's yeah, go. Yeah, right there, right there, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he was he was pretty much saying that he's back, uh, that he defended the NXT Championship with a broken jaw, and now he has like plates or something in, in the jaw, yeah. in the mouth. But all of a sudden, we get to see Pat McAfee and his group, you know, right away, boom. Nah, 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 there's, no, like, there's, no, no, not that, not yet. Not that yet, <laughs> but you know. But like he, Pat McAfee, you know, good beverage. I like, you know, the narrative. I like what he was saying, you know, you don't have any decency. You don't have any respect for the States, any respect for Ireland. Just give me the NXT championship. That was really legit. I like Oh, that. yeah. And I like he runs down everybody. Oh, yeah. Drake, Maverick, Killian Dane, dead. Bobby Fish, dead. Yeah, <laughs> He's yeah. like, they're all dead. Which the way he says dead, you almost can't even tell he's saying dead. I'm like, is that because USA doesn't want them to say that? You know, mm -hmm. so I don't know, but you know, it was it was good on you know, then they surrounded the ring and I love that how he's just like we've been running this show for you know, three weeks or like, or he said, you know, the past few weeks, two weeks, two weeks yeah. yeah. So then he's like, Balor looked at him. He's like, when the cat's away, the mice will play. He's like, and the cat's back. So that line, I, I love that. You know, that's I mean, really it, it reminded me of like, not even a mouse farts without me. Knowing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and exactly. then, you know, back in the old Jean-Paul days. Yeah, but, back in no, the old was... Jean-Paul in like, pro, in like other promotions. Yeah, exactly. When was, like, in the, in the yeah, when I, when I was in Evolve before I yeah, got signed. Evolve, WWE, yeah, in Evolve, yeah, progress, yes. But uh, this, that, that line was good. And then I love the closing when he's like, and look what the cat dragged in. Lights go <laughs> out. <laughs> yep, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, and the spear there, yeah, that's pretty legit, and they, they pretty much just, like, they were fighting with each other. You know, we got a big bro, so again, this is going to be the main event for War Games, people. Right there, mm -hmm. jump ball, and yeah, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be the four guys, you know, the new, the kings of NXT against the Undisputed there. You know, that's going to be War Games, and the first match is going to be the girls, it's going to be Team Shotzi against Team Lorraine. I just think that, like, I just booked the whole thing, right, jump ball? Yeah, and who do you think would be the... The, the last woman in, you know, t the Shotzi's team. I was going to say whoever lost the, this women's match would go into that team, so I'm going with Rhea. Yeah, it has to be Rhea Rapley. Yeah, it has to be Rhea Rapley. Just because of the feud with uh, Raquel. Yeah, Even they boom, can summarize know. it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't seem, you know, two, like, legit, legit teams because, like, the, the baby faces are kind of more stocked out for me. Amber Moon, Tony Storm, you know, Rhea Rapley, Shotzi against kind of, like, LaRae is good. Uh, the code is okay, like, like you know, like I mean, Indy Harwell is decent, but you know what I mean. Seems oh, yeah, like yeah. Are moving, but I mean, that's what they're gonna give us. So for now, it, it makes mm -hmm. all the sense in the world. At least we're gonna get war games because oh, you know yeah. there was a lot of rumors that we're not gonna do that. So they're going with it. So that's really cool. And this kind of show pretty much ended, jump Paul. So we get to see more interactions for the next a couple of weeks because we have what like three weeks of build for what mm -hmm. it's going to be war games. We're going to see who challenges Finn Balor, though, for the NXT Championship, because by then, he should be ready. He didn't relinquish, so that was good at least, Paul. Yeah. Yeah, yep. so like, yeah, so so that was NXT. You know, it was it was kind of shitty in the beginning, a little bit like, so, so, like, we're tempted to flip, but we said we would do this first, unless our girl lost, so now we're going to keep on the NXT train. We gotta the promise, because, yeah, true. I mean, the show ended good. That's all I can ask for. And with all this build for war games, I am intrigued to see what they do next week. So exactly. So this time I'm gonna do it. You know, family, don't forget to check us out in the on Facebook on Road Break and on Instagram the OG Road Break and on also like Twitter the OG Road Break, the original Road Break, and also on YouTube right here for the meat and potatoes, the original Road Break for the best content in professional wrestling and also soccer. Don't forget that. You know, we covered that a little bit. You know, that was our cherry on top. Yep. And remember, family. Shout allow, out to Clever. Okay? Clever, you know, our friend, and also family, remember, a lot of coverage from John Paul and myself, but it's going to be Survivor Series, the farewell of The Undertaker, and also, you know, great matches, and finally, a great main event, the new WWE Champion Drew McIntyre against the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns, let's see who gets the win, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock, in the eyes of me, my, and John Paul and Triple H. So, family, thank you so very much. Don't forget to check us out. Tomorrow we have two shows, AW Dynamite, NXT UK, always busy. So, John Paul, you and me, one more thing that is left to say. That is... Uh, 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 uh.